Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are looking into what's coming in next for the month of May. Now in the month of May we have a new moon on May 7th. We have a full moon on May 23rd and that full moon is going to be in the sign of Sagittarius. So through this energy it's going to be a time to discover oneself and look for a deeper meaning or deeper purpose in the things that we do, in the things that we involve ourselves with. Another major alignment that's going to happen this month is Jupiter is going to enter the sign of Gemini. Now with this alignment, it's going to push us again to think deeper on how we feel and how we communicate how we feel. So let's dive a little bit deeper into the energy. Again, guys, if you find the messages helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here. And it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive into the energy. So we're going to dive right into Sagittarius' energy for the month of May. We're going to see what comes out for you through this energy. Most important message here for Sagittarius spirit. What do my Sagittarian friends need to know? What do they need to see through the month of May? Please and thank you. We have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Cups, and we have the Seven of Cups. So this is an energy of options. I definitely feel like there's multiple people that are trying to get your attention at this time, Sagittarius, but there's one in particular that stands out among the rest. So we'll see how that plays out into the reading. I do feel like there are going to be a lot of love offers that are going to come in for you through the month of May. Beautiful, beautiful energy. So we have the Ace of Cups, the Fool, and the King of Wands. Judgment, Ten of Swords, Knight of Wands. And these three cards that I'm going to place right here are the Advice. We'll pull that over at the end. I feel like Sagittarius, even though there are people trying to get your attention and there's one person among the crowd that stands out, I feel here through this energy, like you're protecting your heart, afraid that you're going to get hurt or go through a certain scenario again maybe not even understanding why something had come to an end like it did. But I definitely feel here, Sagittarius. There was a need with the Judgment Ten of Swords energy. The ending that you recently experienced in your life, as difficult as it may come to terms with, you had to let go of that particular person in order to make room for the new experiences that are coming your way. So the message is very clear here, Sagittarius, is to be open to new experiences, be open to new opportunities, and to know there's two sides to every story. Really, they say three sides. There's your side, there's their side, and there's the truth, right? And the reason being is because everybody has a different perspective. Trusting that the universe is always conspiring in your favor will help you to move through these energies a little bit quicker. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups and the reason why it helps you move through the energy quicker. It helps you to be more open to new opportunities and experiences when they come your way. And I do feel like there was a particular person 
that you recently walked away from or disconnected from that you had a very intense connection with this person. It was almost like, even though you knew this relationship wasn't healthy, it wasn't good for you, you couldn't disconnect. And that's what the judgment energy symbolizes. It's like liberation. It's like finally being set free, okay? And then the Ten of Swords, this was something that was very toxic. This was something that was very back and forth, that was very heavy to carry. Maybe this person was very difficult to deal with. Always having an issue or always complaining about something. And it's like the cards are telling you, Sagittarius, the time had passed to move forward. And you really held on to that person longer than you needed to. Looking at the situation in this more graceful approach, not so much weaponizing the ending and looking at, oh, that was a toxic person. And one thing that we as humans tend to do when we leave a particular person in our life that we felt had done us wrong, we have the tendency to blame and to make that person into a monster and even though they probably did have these bad behavior traits sometimes we make it more than it really is we forget that we had a part to play in all of this as well i honestly feel here sagittarius you're coming to terms with all of this not that you were the person but it's like you can see where maybe you allowed this person to overstep boundaries too many times or you knew they were being deceptive and you didn't speak up. And so you can see how everything lined up, how it did. Hindsight is always twenty twenty. Try to pick apart this ending as much as you can right now when you're in this healing phase. Because I feel like right now, the end of April moving into May, you're focused on healing relaxing, rejuvenating, and really kind of getting clear on where you want to focus your energy and attention next, which is a beautiful thing. Instead of so much planning, take that time to flip it and process. I promise you, Sagittarius, you will thank me later. Okay. And like, just pick apart the whole scenario everything, the relationship, what you didn't like about this person, maybe what they complained about to you about your behavior patterns, you know, analyze that whole scenario. I honestly, truly feel like every person has a behavior pattern that they don't really like about themselves. Everybody has it. Even a little deeper than that, the people that we interact with sometimes don't really take our personality well. And I truly feel like there's something to learn through that experience. If we can get that information from that person to see like where we rubbed that person wrong, maybe we can be more mindful of that action or that behavior pattern. It's like you're coming back into yourself, Sagittarius and getting back in alignment with what you want your future to look like. Don't let past energy come back in and throw you off the track. Okay? You know what it is that you want. You know where it is that you're headed. You need to protect your energy at this time from anything that hasn't already worked in the past. Okay? Don't play into the confusion. Before you make a decision, sit back and think, play the tape out. How does this align with what I want for my future? And yes, that includes relationships, people, friendships, business partnerships. How does this person align with what I'm doing in my life and where I'm headed right now? What's working in your favor, Sagittarius, it's like, 
something inside of you had clicked where you were finally ready to free yourself from the situation. As humans, we get pushed to the brink. We go through so much turmoil. And here's what I recommend. Instead of allowing a person to come into your life and push you to that point of no return, get clear inside of yourself on that boundary. How many times will I allow this person a second chance, a third chance, before I know that the next chance is not going to be good? I'm sure that you've gone through this enough, Sagittarius, at least a couple times, that you can see, okay, after the fourth or fifth time, after the sixth time, after the tenth time, I'm past my brain. I'm regretting my decision with this person. I personally have a three strikes, you're out rule. And yes, sometimes people that I care about a little bit more get a couple more passes. But typically, if a person shows me more than three times a behavior pattern or a personality trait, and it doesn't integrate with what I'm doing in my life or where I'm headed, then I don't waste time to separate. It doesn't take me long to recognize, okay, this person isn't in alignment with what I want for my future. It's time to move forward. It may sound harsh, but it saves me from having toxic relationships and I'm still a giving person. I like to go give my time at local community events. I like to go help out um, the people in need in my community. Uh, but I don't really surround myself with a lot of people who don't line up with where I'm going. I'm, I'm starting a wellness center. I want to help people heal and in that I have to be, I can't be helping other people if I am not healed myself, right? So I can't keep having people around me that take advantage and abuse me because then I'm going to continually have to be healing myself and I'm not going to have the energy or the time or the space to help other people. Sometimes you have to be real with yourself like that. Does this align with what I want for my future? Now, obviously, not everybody's future is going to be in alignment with mine. I've accepted my purpose. I've accepted my path. And I actually enjoy it. Everybody's purpose is going to be different. And that's why it's important for you, each individual person, to get clear on what you want your life to be. How are you supposed to know where you're headed if you don't know what it looks like? So taking that time to help you get clear. And yes, that includes relationships. So how do we get clear on like what we want for our relationship? Well, we get clear on the personality traits that we see fit with what we want for our life. What type of person do I see myself spending my life with? What attributes do I want that person to bring to the table? Not just physical appearance, not just physical either, right? There has to be some emotional integration there. There also has to be a person who's maybe understanding when each other needs their space, compromise. How does this person interact in a relationship? You see what I mean? You need to get clear on what type of person you visualize your future with. And then everything is going to come into your life easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It's also going to help you to be more aware, to be able to see. This person does align with this. This person doesn't really align with this, but maybe they align with this. It makes things easier 
in our life to delegate. So instead of being back and forth, up in the air, about what it is that we truly want, we actually have a plan. Page of Pentacles. Okay. So let's pull over the advice guidance moving forward. I do feel like fate, destiny, the wheel is turning in your favor, Sagittarius, as many tarot readers say when the wheel of fortune comes up. So lean into that. Trust that everything is lining up. The universe is conspiring in your favor. So your advice, guidance moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating for you, you can give it a thumbs up or you can comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. So we have the High Priestess, we have the Eight of Wands, and we have the Sun. Sagittarius, you're needing to trust yourself. Trust that you have experienced what you needed to experience to be able to move forward in a positive direction. A lot of times when we go through these traumatic experiences and relationships and we've allowed this person so many second chances, it's not about us being harsh and angry, vengeful, um, resentful because of the other person. A lot of times those emotions stem from ourselves and beating ourselves up because we should have known better. You know what I mean? So be easy on yourself through this process. It's okay to want to make something work. You know what I mean? I definitely feel like things are going to start moving forward very quickly. So being open, being aware, and just having the understanding, right, that you are going to know exactly what it is that you want in your life. That comes to a relationship, that comes to goals, dreams, visions, where you want to live. You're the one that gets clear on all of those things internally and then you see what is in the alignment with that, okay? That's how you manifest your dreams into reality. Sagittarius, your lighted pathway oracle message coming out for your reading, make the most of it. Make use of your time and all resources. Look for more knowledge. Learn from the mistakes <clears throat> and also from others to build up more skills and confidence. And then we have trust your gut. When it comes to your intuition, you have a strong gut feeling. Deep down inside, you know what's next. And then we have improve your health. Physical health is essential to remain functional. <clears throat> Detoxify your body and mind with healthier food, breathing exercises, and meditate more. Beautiful, beautiful Sagittarius. I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. I hope the message was helpful and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.